Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to give a Google Slides presentation to your students already in presentation mode. That way they don't have to come up here and click the present button. So first things first, open up your Google Slides presentation. We need to open up the sharing right, so click on the share button. If you want to open it up just to people in Westfield Washington Schools, you can click this link and then you would copy this URL. If you need to open it up further or outside of our school system, maybe you want parents to be able to view it or teachers and other school systems to be able to view it, you can click the down arrow and say anyone with the link. Either way works, whichever one you pick, just make sure you click on this copy link button so that you copy that URL and then you can say done. Then go to wherever it is you are going to share this link, whether it's in Canvas or Google Classroom, email, wherever you want to share it, paste that link you just copied. Now what we're going to do is find where it says the word edit and everything from the word edit and, and after we're going to get rid of and we're going to replace it with one of two options. I'm going to show you both. The first one is the word present. I'm going to hit my space bar to turn that into a hyperlink. Then I'm going to paste it again because I want to show you both options. I'm going to get rid of the word edit and everything after it and I'm going to replace it with the word preview. Hit my space bar to turn it into a hyperlink. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you both of these so you can see the difference. The first one is present and then the second one is preview. I'm going to put them side by side here so you can see the difference. All right, with presentation, as, as I toggle, you're going to see how it's a little bit bigger. And the reason is I'm going to have you focus down here. You don't see this information. So in presentation mode, that little bar is gone. Instead, when you wiggle your mouse, this comes up. Okay, if I put my mouse up here, it should disappear. Uh, there it goes, and it disappears. With preview mode, you don't have that big bar coming up and blocking your slides. Instead, it just lives down here. So look, if I hover my mouse, see how it blocks my slides? If I had words there, let me find one that has words. Uh, see how it's blocking those words? So a lot of times I will just use the preview mode to get rid of that big bar and kind of keep it down here. So that was this one where we typed the word preview, if you happen to like that one better. But now that you have your URL, you would simply put that URL wherever it is you want students to access it. And when they click it, they'll automatically be in presentation mode. The last thing to think about is in presentation or preview mode, either one, students can't manipulate the slides. So you can't have them typing anything on the slides, dragging, dropping anything on the slides. It's literally they're viewing it. And if you happen to have a, a, a link like a video, they can watch it. Or if, if there's a link uh, to something else, I don't know if I have, I think mine are all videos. Here we go. If there's links to something else, they can click them and go there, but they can't type on or drag or drop or do any manipulatives in preview or present mode.